Hi, my name is Theo Bennett, and I'm one of the tutors here at MCAT Self Prep. And today I'm going to be walking you through how many hours it takes to get a good MCAT score. So the first thing that you need to understand about the MCAT is that there's no magic number of months or weeks or hours that you need to study in order to get a good score. Understand that everyone's journey is going to be different. And so the amount of time that you're going to need to achieve your potential may look different than someone else. However, the general rule is the more time you put into studying for the MCAT, the more improvement you'll be able to see. One common mistake that I've seen a lot of students make is they'll spend a really good amount of time planning out a good study plan, but when it comes time to start studying for the MCAT, they won't use their time effectively. We've all seen this in our own studies where sometimes we'll sit down for a four hour chunk and end up watching Netflix for half the time. So a good practice when thinking about how much time you'll need to devote to the MCAT is also thinking about what sacrifices you're willing to make. For example, are you willing to delete some of your social media accounts or stop watching your favorite TV shows? For me personally, I cut out a lot of these distractions just for the few months that I spent studying for the MCAT and it really paid off. Additionally, think about the sacrifices that you need to make in terms of your study habits in general. For example, I personally treated college like a nine to five job, Monday through Friday, but during the months that I was studying for the MCAT, I treated it more like an eight to six job. So I pushed a little bit farther, a little bit harder during those few months, and then gave myself a break after I was done. When planning for the MCAT, you want to make sure that you make the semester before you take the MCAT as easy as possible. If you're in a gap year situation, also think about lightening your workload as much as you can to accommodate your studying. If you're in college, I would think about taking the minimum amount of requirements that you need to maintain your full-time full student status and try and bundle as many easy classes as possible so that your classes aren't taking up as much of your time as they normally would. Most students typically take the MCAT between April and May, where they study for about 20 hours a week during the semester before and then have a, a very concrete and focused month after the semester finishes where they dedicate up to 60 hours a week to really fine tune their studying before they, they take the test. Another common practice is people will take the MCAT in August, the year before they apply. And so that way they can spend most of their studying time over that summer, spending between 20 and 40 hours a week for about those three months. The benefit of August is that way you know your score way in advance um, before applying, but the benefit of taking it later in April or May is that you give yourself a few more semesters to really build up those prerequisites for the MCAT, so that way your content foundation is a little bit more stable. Generally, if I'm just giving advice as a, as a general rule of thumb, I would probably think that most students spend between four to six months of really focused studying. Um, but I've seen students study anywhere from one month to multiple years for the MCAT. And you really just got to understand that, again, you're going to get out what you give to the MCAT. And so the more you're willing to sacrifice and work hard, the more hours you're willing to put in, the more improvement you'll see overall. As a general rule of thumb, a lot of people ask the question, you know, how many hours do I need to study in order to see the improvement that I want? You should think about studying, if you study about 10 hours a week for a month, then that corresponds to about a point and a half in terms of improvement. So in other words, if I were to study for one month for 40 hours a week, I would see about a six point increase in my overall MCAT score. Now, obviously understand that this rule doesn't apply to everyone. Some people are gonna see a lot of improvement in the beginning as they're learning content for the first time. Other people will see a lot of improvement towards the end when they're really solidifying study strategies and doing lots of practice problems. So you just need to understand that your trajectory may be up and down, but it's that really that rule of thumb applies mostly to the final weeks. That way you're not expecting to see like a 12 point increase in the last two weeks of study. So the first step is take a diagnostic test, see where you're at, and then come up with a goal score. And then calculate the difference between your diagnostic test and your goal score. And then think about creating a timeline in order to achieve that goal. Think about how many hours you're gonna study each day in a given week, and then multiply that by the amount of weeks that you have total. Also, make sure to factor in if you're taking any breaks, um, if you have periods where you can study more, say on a school holiday, or study less during finals week, for example. I'm gonna post my trajectory right here, and hopefully that just shows you that 
a lot of variation happens across the journey and you just need to trust the process. It's perfectly normal to bomb a practice test. It happens to everyone, but just keep trusting in your studying and keep working forward. My whole philosophy is you need to work smarter, not harder. And so my goal through these videos is to walk you through the best strategies and resources that you need to succeed on the MCAT. So hopefully that you'll be able to walk away um, feeling really proud about yourself. Studying for the MCAT can be a really emotional process just because you're constantly evaluating yourself. And so at MCAT Self Prep, we're just gonna try and give you as much support as possible. And so if you have any questions or if you're looking for individual help, please reach out and we'll, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. We're gonna be starting to post weekly videos. And so please subscribe if you're interested. Thanks.